Today we're taking a look at the Georgian Bull and multiple World Strongest Man finalist, Konstantin Janasha. Konstantin Auntie Liz, we love the Georgian Bull. We do. He is, you know, over the years he's been a real threat in a number of big competitions. I can think of a, a number of times he's been on the podium in big internationals. He's not had the best year. He's not had the best kind of like few performances in the last few shows. No, no. Um, and obviously, you know, a couple of years back he tore his tricep. Yeah, it does big. knock the confidence. Mm. What have you got for us on Konstantin Janasha? We'll go into the events in a bit, but let's give us a bit of a history because Konstantin's been around for a while now. He has, yeah. Let's look at his facts and stats then. So like you said, Konstantin has been around for a while and his first international competition was way back in 2011 when he competed in the WSF World Cup in Belarus. He's competed at the World's Strongest Man six times and he's made the final five times with his highest placing being fourth in 2016. Last year, of course, being the first time he didn't make the final. It's interesting to see an athlete like Constantine, who his best performance at World's Strongest Man thus far was back in 2016, which was his first World's Strongest Man. Yeah, and also that was such a tough time. It was in a Strongman. really tough time, and it's everyone was talking about this guy yeah. as being, you know, a potential World's Strongest Man winner. Now he's come back year on year and made the final, but it's been getting a little bit worse. And last mm. year is the first time we've not seen him make the final. So in total, Janasha has two international wins under his belt so far, which is the 2021 Siberian Power Show and the 2017 Sibikas Classic. And he's been on a total of nine international podiums. And that was an interesting thing to see him come back from injury, go to the Siberian Power Show and take the win. I was expecting to see Janasha push on from that. And then again, it's just been kind of like... He, he, there's some kind of mental block or he's taking the foot off the gas because his training looks solid. Training you see his good. training videos, he's looking yeah. good. He's just not quite performing as he was pre-injury in those bigger shows. Not firing on all cylinders. Last not day. yet. He he was on the podium at last year's Europe, but that was the last like really good performance from Janasha. So we saw him compete at Europe's Strongest Man, end up placing eighth at that contest with very similar events that we're going to see in the group stages of World's Strongest Man. Now, I think, you know, when you think of Europe, you'd expect people to do a little bit better if they're going to be challenging to make the final. Definitely. He's someone that beat a couple of guys that will be going to Worlds, and he lost out to a couple of guys that will be going to Worlds. So it's been a good warm-up for him. Mm. Let's dive into the events and see how we think he can do, because yeah. right now, and I hate saying this, I haven't been sort of convinced. Like I said, back in 2016, I saw this guy as, like, the future potentially a contender to win and it just hasn't materialized and I know myself what it's like coming back from injuries and how that can mentally affect athletes mm. he's a difficult one to think of where would you put him in a group yeah because you can't he go is. in as a as a top guy this year no I'm going to stop saying seed in case <laughs> I upset we anyone. In but you, when you think about the last year or so in strongman that's kind of how as long as well as where people are based in terms of their nations. You're going to try and avoid too many people from the same country in yeah. a group. You've also got to try and avoid too many of the top, top guys in the same group. Of course. And, and make them as even as possible. Janash is a difficult one. You kind of have to place people based on their current recent performances. You do. But, but if that happens and then Janasha comes and does what he's done in the past, then he's going to destroy a group. So yeah. it, it is interesting. And we, we've seen it before. We've seen guys be quiet for a long period Jerry of time. Jerry Pritchett in, was it 2020? I've seen Jerry do it. I've seen Mark Felix do yeah. it. I've seen others. As if from nowhere, suddenly, bam, right in the kisser. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at these events. Okay. So in fairly traditional World Strongest Man style, they're starting with a loading race. And Janash has had some great results. As recently as 2021, he won the loading in his group there. Last year, he came fourth. It was quite a fast group. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitch Hooper, Brian Shaw, there were some good loaders in yeah. that group. But it wasn't so good for him at Europe's Strongest Man. I know they had the push element there as well, which they won't have at Worlds. I, I, I will say the loading at Europe was quite fast. It was like frantically fast. Yeah. I think the World's Strongest Man being on sand as well is a lot more draining, yeah. a lot tougher. Now, he's an athlete that's body, body weight has fluctuated up and down through his career. We see him sometimes come to competitions fit, athletic. Other times he's been absolutely massive and struggled to move. Mm. Um, he's looking at a good weight for him. So... 
I think we'll see a better performance than we saw at Europe's because, yeah. like I said, Europe's everyone was finishing pretty quickly. Yeah, it's going to be a tougher. Um, loading event at world's strongest man and the element of having it on sand he's got that experience could be useful uh but like you say he's had he's won this event before and kind of come everywhere in between first and last so it's a hard one to sit there and think how he'll do and you know guarantee points now the deadlift is next and janash has been known as a big big deadlifter for many many years he had the 400 kilo for five reps was a world record yeah. at the time um and we always think of him as a big deadlifter he is, and I think you know he's capable of winning the deadlift in a group, but there are a few athletes right now that you would rank ahead of Janasha in a deadlift as well. So I think it's an event he can certainly pick up points. Yeah. It's going to depend on who's in his group as to how many points. Yeah, I mean, his recent deadlifts haven't been great, though. At Europe's Strongest Man, he only pulled three reps on the 350 kilos. At last year's World's Strongest Man, he was actually last on the deadlift ladder. Which is amazing when you yeah. kind of think what he's done in the past. I know now, he's is had it... some back problems, hasn't he? Which obviously yeah. is going to affect but that's, and, and I, you know, I spoke to Janasha myself, and oh. he's, 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 sometimes you want to protect the athletes. And, and I, I've, I've asked him questions. He said, "No, training's going good. Deadlift's going good." Yeah. You know, so sometimes there's just that little element in the back of your mind that's maybe holding you back. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we can see Janasha back to his big deadlifts because yeah. 400 for five nice. that shoots him right up into yeah. you know the, the real top deadlifters in a competition. We've just not been seeing it recently. How about log? See, this is something that's really, all of his overheads have been affected by his uh, tricep injury. He got three logs at Europe's Strongest Man, which was good enough for eighth place. But again, I was talking to him at Europe's and he was telling me he was hitting PBs in the gym. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the just security of your own equipment Travel? and then trying to use different logs or, or just that kind of back of your mind, that competition pressure. And we've got another log medley to do. Uh, log ladder, sorry, uh, world's strongest man. Didn't go well for him at Europe's. It's not looking the most confident this year. It's not, which is a shame because I do love Janasha. Conan's, another event that we saw at Europe's, and he placed 10th on the Conan's at Europe's. Yeah, Europe. see, I would never look at Janasha and expect someone like him to be good at Conan's. It doesn't usually suit the guys that are quite big in the chest and, you know, just big barrel men. <laughs> I say it I've, as a compliment, Janasha. You know, he, he is an athlete that's grown in stature over the years. Yes. I think at one stage he was actually pretty fit and athletic. He And like I said earlier, his body weight has gone up and down. He's a little bit lighter than I've seen him at certain points, but he still looks big. He's and big he, he's better at the kind of speed carrying events. So like a yoke or a farmer's walk. Yeah. Uh, actually, frame and farmer's walk, he's, he's pretty solid on. Yeah. Um, this one will be much tougher. Endurance-based. 10th at Europe's. So we saw, crush him on your chest as well. Yeah, he's going to need to do better at Worlds. And the kettlebell throw, he's tall, he's rangy, he's got that back power again, you'd expect it to be good. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, the most the last time we saw it was at the Arnold UK when they did the sandbag toss, and he was sixth place there. That was one where almost everyone finished, if not everyone, and a lot of them were quite close. He's got the ability to... to to throw bigger weights yeah um world's strongest man throw is much more challenging and they've got a lot of kettlebells it's like seven or eight so the yeah. last few are very but, heavy yeah, which so could suit janash I, I think so but he needs to really up his game and come into world's strongest man with that confidence that we've seen in the past yeah now the reality i think this year is the best case scenario janasha finds himself in a stone off yeah uh, he, he's he's not in good enough shape i think to to win uh, i'd love to be proven wrong but from what I've seen in the most recent competitions, I just can't see him challenging the very, very top guys right at this moment in time. So he needs to be getting himself into the stone off. How are his stones? His stones are okay. Like over the last year or so, we've seen him place third in stones in a number of competitions. He's not winning stone events, but he's a solid bloke on them. I think like a lot of guys that we've talked about, the stone off format probably suits him a little bit better than a run. Sure. Um, yeah, but who knows? I just don't know. <laughs> and it's, it's strange because up until this point, we would have always expected great things from Janasha. Well, he's just been such a staple in the final for so many years. I know he's obviously guy. missed a, a couple of years with injuries and stuff, but he, he's he's always done very well at World's Strongest Man. He likes the format. The slower pace definitely suits him. He That's does not him. like the fast paced shows. We've seen him a number Do of you times. Remember Worcester Five? <laughs> yes, I was just thinking of that exact show where it was super fast paced and he was dying backstage. <laughs> 
But the slow on the stage, yeah, it's a backstage. <laughs> slower pace of Worlds does suit someone it like Jan Asher, so that could change things as well. But I, I certainly can't see him winning a group right now with the, the amount of talent that's out there and peaking, if you like, in terms of yeah. their careers. His career has kind of stepped back a little bit on his best, so he needs to just try and use World's Strongest Man this year to get Janasha back to his best. Get that confidence that we know he's capable of. I think realistically, he has a shot of getting himself in a stone off. There is a yeah. chance we doesn't, he doesn't even do that. with it. The events don't look great for him on paper. They're not the best events for him on paper, no. I think if it ends up being heavier, like it has been implied, I think that suits Janasha a bit better, actually. I think when it was too light, too fitnessy, it does become a problem for him. Let's have a quick look at the events for the final for Janasha, starting with the Fingles Fingers. How do you think he can do on those if he makes the final? Well, the last time we saw him do them was in the 2021 groups, and he came second in his group with three fingers. With the tricep injury, yeah. it's, it's something that kind of plays on the back your mind and three fingers is not going to be good enough no deadlift as we said before he's a capable deadlifter he's so done capable. some incredible numbers his numbers just seem down right now yeah. i think if we can be, see janasha at his best he puts himself in a place to pick up some decent points i do not think he wins the deadlift in the final no. even at his absolute best right now um but if he's not at his best he couldn't end up placing much much lower and that will be a big problem for Jan Asher. the shield carry will be an interesting one um this is an event he's done very well on in the past in the 2017 heats it was the elephant carry remember oh i remember that Stone? and he won that in his group who did he beat well i was second okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to say me. <laughs> I think there's a difference between second and last. So. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but, so yeah, we know that he's capable of this type of event. I should probably point out because people will see us criticizing athletes. I thought about I'm these sorry, events though. for myself. He's, a, <laughs> if I was at World's Strongest Man this year, this terrible, year. Terrible, terrible, terrible event. Terrible, terrible event. I wouldn't be predicting me. you'd be at the final. No, I would not. Even I'd in be, your best shape, these are bad these events are, like, for you. I'm pretty good at the deadlift, or I was. Let me change. I was good at the deadlift. Yeah, yeah. The log would have been okay. Conan would have been terrible. Throwing would have been, an throwing issue. Would have been terrible. Stones, Stones has never been the best. Mm. Horrible event for me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to Janasha. <laughs> so, Max Dumbbell, this is the event he picked up the tricep injury on, and we've seen him do it a couple of times since then, and zero. Yeah, it's, it's a real mental and physical issue right now for him, yeah. and I don't think he'll want any part of it in a final yeah. where it's going to be heavy. Yeah. Truck pull, good event for Janasha. He's very solid on truck pulls. He's won truck pulls before in his heats at World's Strongest Man. Yeah. He's done very well at truck pulls in multiple competitions. This would be his best event, if you ask me, if he makes the final. Yeah, agreed. And then finally, the stones. We've already spoken about the stones in the heats. Again, I don't see him doing all that well on the stones in the, the lineup that you're going to be expecting to see in a final. So we hope Janasha can maybe get himself into another final. I think right now. Right at this moment, I don't think Janasha makes the final. I think he needs to go away, get that confidence back, use this world's strongest man as, as a, as a pick-me-up. Get that motivation back, get that belief in yourself, and mm. come back next year to really challenge. But we wish him the best, as I'm yes. sure you guys do as well. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. There's only a few more athletes left before right. world's strongest man starts. We hope you guys are getting as excited as we are. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys next time.